So what we're going to do for Trump Loy is, first of all, we've got to get the base. Trump Loy looks particularly good on wood grain and marble surfaces, but as that's a different course, what we're going to do is we're going to do it on a sandstone background. So what I've got here is I've got some colours mixed up and I'm going to do a background very quickly. What I'm looking for here is just a, a nice sort of grey sandstone colour. Now we're going to get some newspaper. Now we're going to use a badger softener just to soften it and it just diffuses the colour in, into the background. Now what we're going to get is a, a brush with, with the bristles and it's been shortened. We're just going to get a colour. and we're going to spatter on some colour. What we'll do is we'll just blot that with the newspaper again. We'll soften it once more. So what we're going to do again is just go over it with the, the spattering, with the, the shortened brush. Now what this gives us is the fine granular, granular effect you get with sandstone. So we just build this up a few times very quickly. Because it's acrylic, it dries very, very quickly. So there we have a very quick, simple, basic background that lets us move on quickly to the actual trump loy techniques. What I've done is I've marked out where we're going to put the actual trump techniques and we're going to put some masking tape around them. What I'm doing is I'm just putting the tape around the pencil line and I'm going to put it around the whole shape of the design we're doing and then we're going to trump into the tape. Okay, now we've taped down one side of the design. Trump Loy is um, using highlights and shadows to create the, illus the illusion of depth. Now what we're going to do against these areas we've taped, we're going to put some shadows in.
So we've got the badger soft nap, and what we're going to do is just soft nap. Now what we're going to do is just clean it up. So that's us created the shadow and the design. What I'm going to move on to now is the highlights. Okay, we'll just take the tape off. Okay, what I want to do just to finish off is get around the edge. I've got a border penciled out around the edge. Okay, so that's a very quick demonstration of trompe l'oeil. Now, a lot of people ask me what trompe l'oeil actually means. And it's a French term which literally translates as trick the eye. What we do is paint highlights and shadows to trick the eye into giving the illusion of depth. <laughs> 